teach twice a year in Moscow. I mean, everybody who comes to the class has no cultural connection to Ireland. I mean, they, you know, they just probably saw it on the TV, they saw the videos, they started teaching themselves. I think they were just attracted to the to the music and to, I suppose, the, the percussive nature and the rhythmical nature of the dance. I mean, and they're they're obsessed, and um, you know, and they absolutely adore it. So, yeah, there's a whole new demographic of people now who are um, who are doing this, and for lots of different reasons. It's not just a cultural identity thing anymore. That's not necessarily a new thing. I mean, we would have kind of used microphones on our shoes at various points in some of the bigger shows. Um, but uh, I just kind of started playing around a little bit more with that about five or six years ago. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a big part of the show in terms of just having microphones strapped on and then uh, a lot of the sounds um, uh, or footfalls are then really manipulated from the sound desk in a really complicated way that I, even I don't really understand. Um, just to kind of create loops and layers of sound with go, which go with these archival films um, uh, is the easiest way to kind of explain some of what's going on. All these festivals, I mean, it's like in Dublin, we have the Dublin Dance Festival going on now, which is only the fourth time we've had it. I mean, they do raise the profile of the city in, in a way that maybe we don't even realize somehow, you know, even... Uh, it enters, it enters people's kind of consciousness, I think, you know, I mean, uh, lots of people I know in Birmingham who would never have any interest in dance know that this is kind of going on. And it's not just because I'm coming here and they know me, but there, there, there just seems to have been a real buzz, and it's a four-week-long festival, so, um, you know, and it's great for dance, that you know, and it's great for Birmingham, so good luck with that.